But I like the, the premise that the more money that you have, the less you're chasing yield. Now that's not going to help someone who's a little behind on the retirement buildup. What stuck out um, the most with me in my breakout room was Paul Moore. Uh, if you guys don't know Paul Moore, he runs a, a fund that is uh, mainly multifamily and self storage. Uh, they have about a uh, $70, $80 million fund. And his talk was on the professional investor the investor who has money and, and their view is I have money. I want to make sure I keep it. Principal and, preservation. Yeah. Yes. And so the, the topic or the, the title of his, um, presentation was the boring investor and they're happy with five, six, seven, eight percent. If you present them with a 11, 12% return, they're thinking, you know, well, this investment is just way too risky. Too risky. Yeah. I mean, I've had that exact conversation with someone, you know, you mentioned like a, you know, a high number and it's like, Ooh, that sounds dangerous. Yeah. Right. Well, you have to dig into the numbers. There, there are ways to get uh, high returns and still be relatively safe. For, for example, if uh, you're in a fund that allows you to compound over time, while the uh, initial investment or the, the quarterly returns, uh, are, are going to be, you know, in the single digits over time, as you can compound the, that, those balances, uh, you can certainly get a much, much higher uh, rate of return. But the vast majority of the, of funds, especially the ones that hold property, uh, they don't tend to uh, compound your returns. They're paying you out, uh, income. As well, they can't, they can't compound if they're holding, or they can, but it's un unlikely because they have to maintain a certain cash flow and liquidity level. Right. Right. Yeah. So it, it's very difficult for that. But, but I like the, the premise that, um, the, the more money that you have, uh, the less you're chasing yield. Uh, now that's not going to help someone who's a little behind on the, um, retirement, uh, build up. Sure. And there's a lot of those people that are behind from 2008. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. if you've lost a lot uh, during that time, you're still trying to catch up. And then again, at the same time, if you're fairly young, uh, it's okay to have a certain part of your portfolio that's risky because mm -hmm. you can make up for it. You still have time. So he was talking about these, you know, these, was he talking about how to target them or what did that like? What, what no, was he was ma mainly talking uh, about uh, how they, and yeah, I guess it does have to do a little bit with targeting, uh, as far as the marketing piece and, mm -hmm. and letting, letting us know, cause most of us in the room are trying to raise capital for, you know, our real estate businesses. And, uh, he's just letting you know out there, if you, uh, there's a certain segment of the population that, uh, if you give them all these high numbers, they're, they're going to think, uh, your investment is too risky. Sure. So there's a different way to uh, market to those folks. Mm -hmm.